it's all the same to you, I'd rather not hear the horrible thing Spencer said about me. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's not what I meant at all. Spence loves you. I mean, borders on worship, actually. He said you were the best father in the universe. It made me jealous, actually, of how close you two were when he was growing up. Spence made it seem like it was the two of you against the world. It was. You said I'm not the man you expected me to be. If Spencer painted me in a positive light. Oh, a glowing light. Does that mean that I'm worse than you expected? How I believe I was dead. I'll always regret that decision. You misunderstood what I meant. I mean, Spence described you as a man of singular focus. For example, when he was young, your focus was on him. And now, according to Spence, you're all about Ava. But I can say that's not true. I mean, you easily have room in your heart for more than one person. Of course I do. Why can't my son see that? Ava is no threat to him or my love for him. I am so... Sorry, I helped Spence hurt you and Ava. I mean, we were wrong. And I'd really like to make amends. I've been talking to Spence on your behalf, urging him to reconcile with you. I appreciate that. Maybe I should talk to him about the vow renewal. You know, soften Spence up before you speak with him. I'm so sorry that it took so long. Now, yeah, important call. It was about Ryan. Ryan Chamberlain, who's calling you about him? It was Kevin. And he's been monitoring Ryan from a distance. He keeps tabs on him through the staff at Spring Ridge, but he told me that he went to see him face to face. Eh? And there's no change. Ryan is still locked inside his body nice and tight. He wouldn't even communicate with Kevin, not even the blinkety-blink thing he does. He shouldn't be communicating to anyone after what he put you through. They should toss him in a cell and lose the key. Something wrong, Esme? No. It's just, uh, terrible what Ryan did to you, that's all. Yes. Well, it's over. And so is he. I'm just relieved that we can plan our ceremony without worrying about that monster. There's absolutely nothing Ryan Chamberlain can do to us from Spring Ridge. I have to get to the gallery. Uh, I'm ready to go as well. Oh, really? Um, I was hoping we could talk a little more about Spence. Stay. Only if I can walk you out. What? You walk downstairs with me just to turn around and walk back up. I want all the time that you can get. Aw, that's so sweet. They don't call him a prince for nothing. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Take your time.